Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going over how many keypads can I add to my Vista 20P panel. So for the keypads, you can have up to eight addressable keypads. These would be the push button keypads. And you can have up to four AUI keypads or touchscreen keypads. So examples of the addressable uh, keypads, that would be the 6160, the 6160 RF, uh, 6150, 6150 RF, the uh, 6460 Premium keypad, or uh, the uh, 5839 keypad. So you can have up to eight of those keypads with the Vista 20P panel. And for the AUI or touchscreen keypads, as mentioned, you can have up to four of those. Uh, examples of those would be the Tux, uh, Tuxedo, Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, the uh, 6280, or uh, Total Connect even counts as one as well. So Total Connect is basically the remote application that you'll be set up with for monitoring. Uh, this application you can access on a smartphone, tablet, website. Basically it allows you to remotely arm and disarm the system, uh, get notifications as well, and set up like Z-Wave scenes and so on and so forth. So Total Connect does count as one of those. So if you have Total Connect, you can really only use three uh, physical touchscreen keypads as well. So it's either four touchscreen keypads or three if you have Total Connect. So Total Connect does count as one of them. So for the push button keypads, we do recommend to have at least one alphanumeric keypad. Uh, that way, if you ever have to do any programming with this, you'll have that available. Uh, we have come across a good amount of customers who do not have one of those. Uh, it does make programming the system a little bit difficult, uh, especially if they're on some type of phone line setup. So definitely recommend getting some type of alphanumeric keypad. That way you can either, uh, you can also get you know programming access as well as a nice display that will show you the zone name as well as the zone number itself. So if you have an alarm going off, if you have a door faulted or anything like that, uh, you'll see on here, it'll say front door, for example, zone two, uh, zone, you know, however you, ha however you have it set up. So definitely get a alphanumeric keypad, uh, at least one of them. And then the touchscreen keypads, those aren't really needed, but a lot of people do enjoy having a touchscreen there. Uh, so eight of these, four of those. So for the addressable keypads, they can be addressed through addresses 16 through 23. And for the AUI keypads or the touchscreen keypads, those can be addressed to either one, two, five, or six. Uh, basically, to address the keypads, we do have a couple of FAQs and videos on our website about that, especially for this, as well as the AUI. Shows you exactly how to address them, uh, goes over what the addressing is, what it does, so definitely check those out if you're having any issues addressing your keypad. So you can also use wireless keypads with the panel as well. Uh, examples would be 5828 or 5828V. Uh, the V stands for voice, basically just means keypad can read off zone names to you. So you can have a limited number of those connected to the Vista 20P panel. However, you do need a wireless receiver in order for those to work. If you don't have a wireless receiver, nothing wireless is gonna communicate with your Vista panel as it is a mainly hardwired system. So definitely get a wireless receiver if you're looking to add some wireless keypads to that. <clears throat> so for the keypads that you're wiring to the panel, something you really need to observe is the uh, milliamps that the Vista can support. So the Vista can support up to 600 milliamps. Uh, so that means that every keypad that you are adding into this that you're wiring in is taking away from those milliamps. So for example, a 6160 or a 6160 RF, they both can go up to 150 milliamps, while a uh, Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi can go up to about 260 milliamps. So if you only have one Tuxedo and then one uh, keypad that's more than half of your milliamps already taken up already. So definitely check that out before you start the install. Just you know, do a good mapping of the, uh, the voltage that you're gonna be using, how much power these keypads are gonna draw from the panel and how much power the panel can actually support. If you do go over the 600, it's not really an issue. You can add an auxiliary power supply, uh, such as the AD12612. Basically, it's a power supply that connects to a 16-volt uh, transformer, plug that into the wall, wire the keypad to the actual uh, auxiliary power supply. Uh, so that way, it is not taking power from the Vista, more taking power from the actual power supply itself. 
but of course you're still doing like the data wires to the Vista, so it's still gonna work with the system. Uh, but definitely look into auxiliary power supplies if you're gonna be going over that 600 milliamps that the Vista can support. If you go over that and you don't have an auxiliary power supply, either some key beds aren't gonna function at all, uh, they'll turn on but won't do anything, they'll give you uh, misinformation, anything can go wrong if you're going over what is actually drawn. More than likely, they're just not gonna function at all. So definitely look into auxiliary power supplies if you're going over that 600. Uh, so yeah, as mentioned, we do have videos on addressing keypads. We have videos on wiring keypads. Uh, we have the products that I mentioned on our website as well. If you want to check those out, our website is alarmgrid.com, www.alarmgrid.com. And if you have any questions about how to add keypads, how to address them, how to get monitoring, uh, so on and so forth, feel free to email us. Our email is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified and release more content. That way you get notified every time we release a video. My name is Dylan from Alarm Grid. Thank you for watching.